doing this alone. over here.
from the woman in the swamp. It must go here. I have a 
dagger from the Bark Lady. It may go here. The blade I took from the Lady of the Crag. It may fit. way with daughters. Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they're sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. Ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a holy spirit. It reverberates with the finery of ancient language, and I am made anew. Were these timbers carried by the Nephilim? Barriers against invasions from afar? Please, Lord, let this truth shineth upon me as bright as your word doth.
Sigurd, can I have that stone? No, I need it for my tower. Sigurd, your father tells me you have a love pledge with Sefa. No, not anymore. She called me a whale face and I spit on her foot. Those are not words a lover should use. Does Sefa know you have severed your bond with her? She does. I told her to find another Drenger. Then she cried. I do not know why. Sadness can be so silly. Your meanness will haunt you on day, Sigurd. I would never betray you. Because we are friends. In love, hurt is different from that of friendship. Lovers must betray one another as the sun rises and sets. Sense a twisted satyr on the air. An unjust fate has befallen this one. I've seen such violence before. I'm here for blood, like all of those wretched others. Speak! Not for yours! Unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead. Now I open the scars of my heart. Say they're using troll. Breathe deeply. Watch as I become smoke. And listen as I break your bones. There is glass in Odin's hall. Another war begins. <laughs> Stop and driver! How is this possible?
blood screams! <coughs> A scream I shall quiet! A greater darkness fuels my rage! Spirit of my father's rage, fill me! Let rest your demons. Mm. Feel stronger already. for a hundred moons. You will live a long and hearty life. But father, you are not too ill to stay. But I am. The weavers have sent me many portents. I only await a proper death till the family acts of honor passes to you. <laughs> The air is filled with the smell of fish guts. Your catch appears generous. Your nets overflow with silver stock. You're lucky. Good warrior. You carry yourself with the spirit of a Drenger. I am a Drenger, too. In fishmonger slacks. Is this your way of hiding or protecting those around you? My life has had many chapters. Ragnar Lothbrok himself started as a farmer, you know. He often envied my choice. You rode with the great army of Ragnar. I did. And it was here in England that I saw a land so fertile you could spit and food would grow. Water steaming with fish. I met a Saxon lady, Athelswig, and we have made a fine life for ourselves. The best clams in all of East Anglia. But now I must show my son the way of the Drenger. How to die with honor. I respect your desire for an honorable death. I want my son to watch. He should have the final word when I pass. He will not see me die on a bed, coughing like a crow. I accept your fight. We'll show your boy how Drenger do their bidding. Do you hear this, son? Today you will see the color of the blood that made you. The color of Courage and honor above all. Any weapon will do! Hmm. 
Now you see, son. We are Drengar. Can win a battle with a twig or a stone. Glory gate. Think of me, my boy, my dear love. Now, you know. Father, I, I understand. I see the glory you spoke of. Go now to Valhalla and join Ragnar in the war eternal. Your father is a fine warrior. Hadrenger to the end. One day, I will honor him. ...and make of myself a Drenger. Footprints could be a child. What's this? There's something odd going on in these woods. We've been found. Ah, <laughs> <Aww>, retreat. 
<laughs> Play with us. Come to the land of St. Martin's. It is shrouded within an eternal twilight. You live here? Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go up first. Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. Svalat, can... I thought we got away, sis! Your hands and feet are swift, children. But your stealth needs work. Ah, oh, we were close! We will give you what we took, traveler. But first, you must listen to our story. <clears throat> Once. A long, long time ago, in a faraway land, there was a sister. And a brother. I was getting there. But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves, with delicious beans. Lots and lots of beans, and cake. But now, life is harder. There are no more beans or cake. And we have to take what is not ours. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. There is no shame in surviving, and there is nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Here, take my silver. You were going to anyway. Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But... I do not think we deserve this. You don't deserve to live like this either. Spend the silver wisely. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. with us, Large Walker. Would be nice to have some cake, sister. That's not what I was expecting. man's home burning yet he was hopeful and death stood outside his door it is always better to live even in misery
This woman speaks of her child, Grendel. A cruel fate the gods have woven. What is this place? Hide and hunt is a true warrior's game. It is good that you play it. Then play with us. This lot's easy, but you'd be hard to find. Go hide with the others. After the count, I'll seek you out like the mighty wolf Fenrir. Everyone hides while I count down. And after the count, I will seek you out. Everyone, go hide. But stay in the village. Outside the village is out of bounds. Well... My keen wolf nose is picking up a scent. Urgh. My keen wolf. 
wolf knows is picking up a scent. Surrender, giant! <laughs> the giant is the champion! The hider in shadows! The one who lurks unseen! Farewell, children. Play well and stay warm. A warrior's game. These times, even children must hide from two-legged wolves. Get ready for hide and hunt, everyone! <clears throat> Thor lends me strength. Forgive not these men their trespasses. Send them instead to the same hell they brought upon our land. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. Ah! Stand down, Saxon! I mean you no harm! <laughs> Tell me again, what did your god say about me? My god names you the Crow-Eyed Devil. <laughs> and he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. Here we go again. Hey, it's Sean here. Um, Bex is trying to cook up a trace of some kind, hoping to find out where this raw data is coming from. It's not in Eivor's DNA, is it? Can't be. It feels too deliberate, like someone wants you to see it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Any progress? Nothing yet. Whoever put these here made a surgical incision into our server. They dumped this data and backed out before anyone noticed. Oddly enough, that's how Rebecca describes our wedding night, which I find rude. Hasting, get off the mic. I have it. Sending it over. Trolls. Ugh, bad image. What troubles you, friend? Why won't the Seer answer your call? I know not. But without her drafts, my family is doomed.
share this pain with grace, Freya. But please, show me a sign. You have my thanks, kind one. Your wounds are grave. Should you not rest in bed? I'll carry you home. It is no wound, but the blood is mine. I made the potion, Freya's blessing, to help the crops grow. Blood meat. Good. You know of it. From my pain, life springs. Uh, please, help me to the clearing. The field needs the blood meat. There's a farmer at your house who needs it as well. She waits desperately for your return. Oh no. But my fields. If I fail in my task, the harvest is doomed. Please, bring me to the next bloodstone. Seer. The pain surges. But I must finish the ritual. I could take her to the next bloodstone. She could finish the ride. Or I could bring her back to her house, where the farmer waits. Here is the place. Are you strong enough to finish the ritual? I am. Though I must rest. Then I will chant and sow the blood meat. A task I must perform alone. I understand. What else can I do? You've done enough, and for that I thank you. But return in a few days, and see the ripening fields. I shall. Farewell, Seer. May the gods watch over you, kind one. Farewell. upon you, Freyr. Dark spirits rule the ethers. A fallen warrior, neglected by the Valkyries. Another tortured soul. I do not know such a man. He was betrayed and murdered by those who denied his friendship just as you deny him now. <coughs> Hold there. I'm not your enemy. Darkness must reign and you must fade within it. I'll be taken by a demon goddess. You will join my pile of bones. How can there be so many of you? Your tricks will not topple me! Yeah. <laughs> 
feel stronger already. I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summoner, I'll have you know. And I'll ride in his stead. This is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Asta the Great Summoner, first of a name, thank ye. Next time, summon a bridge. If Father was still alive, he would be proud of me. Wouldn't he, Skin Farley? Wait, what did I call you earlier? <laughs> Maybe the horse will have a better life now. Fletchings. Fitting feathers for a king slaying. Touch not that throne! It was blessed by a priest, as were the arrows. These arrows are very lovely. Very lovely indeed. Vuskarlar, fot meren velpur se meta ekert annat, eker ragnar se fessar mera. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place! Hold, stranger! Show me those arrows. The why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. 
I wonder. I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Nally, come back, you sneak! Here, little one. Got you, little mouse biter. anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nali? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider.
Shevan Kinen is keeping as yes. Spirits torment this land. This land bears deep affliction.
Oh. 